Hey, what's up guys? So in this tutorial, we're gonna install Magic. And once we have it, we're gonna actually get our hands dirty and try to lay out the design of the simplistic CMOS inverter. And we're actually gonna talk about what we can do with it. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it, right? So at this point, you should have Ubuntu installed with all the graphical interface, what we, uh, basically what we did in the last uh, tutorial. So open up your Ubuntu terminal. And before we actually install Magic, let's uh, do sudo app get update. This might take a while, let's just wait. So the update is completed. Now do sudo app get install Magic. Do yes, say yes, and let's wait until it completes installation. Okay, uh, now let's test if it was actually installed properly. Uh, to do that, let's first launch our X server. Once the X server is launched, let's just uh, type in magic into the terminal. And this should open up this window right here. And this is the layout editor. Now we have magic installed. Let's talk about technology files. So magic uses scalable design or people also call it Lambda based design. What it basically means is that when we're going to be laying out the design, the items that we'll be laying out are aligned to a grid of a specific size. And we, we can show it visually right over here. So we have the lamb, uh, we have the design open here and uh, in the console of the magic, we can say grid on and it will basically show you the grid on the layout uh, of the on the layout window of the magic, right? So each of the cells uh, is a grid, right? So it has a specific size. So what is the size of one cell? Uh, you might have guessed it's a lambda. Uh, so each grid, each cell in this grid is the is the square of size lambda by lambda. Uh, and uh, by default, the lambda size is not defined, and you can check it if over here. If you go to options and Tech Manager, it will basically say that uh, the lambda is one, right? So it ha it doesn't have any unit. Uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll come back to this window later. But uh, the question is, how do we define the size of lambda, right? And that's when technology files uh, come into play. So the technology file defines the lambda size, size. And besides besides the lambda size, it also defines what is called design rules. Um, and the design rule uh, is nothing but set of rules provided by provided by the fab to make sure that the layout that we are designing uh, will actually be uh, processed correctly in the lithography process in the in the fab. Right uh, now, the issue is is that uh, the technology file is, technology files doesn't come pre-installed to the magic. And right now, I'll basically show you. Uh, how to where to get it and how to install it into the into the magic so to install the uh, technology files uh, we'll probably be providing you with the with the set of technology files but you can also go to the open circuit design uh, website and download it uh, right from the website so if you go open the chrome then go to the open circuit design.com you go to the magic and go to technology files on the late left note navigation bar so the the one that you want to download is this 2002 a so this is the latest released latest release at this point right i mean it's pretty old but that's what we're using uh 2002 a just download it uh save it 
So you just archive, unarchive the whole folder to the desktop. Okay. Now name it. Uh, 2002A should be renamed to the name current. Okay. So now we need to place this current directory into into a magic system directory. Uh, and it took me a while to figure out what it, where it is. Uh, hopefully uh, this is gonna save you a lot of time. So you basically need to uh, first place this current directory into the Linux subsystem file, uh, file sys subsystem, right? So the way to do this, the easiest way to do this, just open the Ubuntu terminal, uh, stop this for a while, then open the explorer, right, dot exe, and do the dot, which means it's gonna open the current directory in the explorer uh, application of Windows, right? And then just drag and drop this current uh, to the home directory. Now close this. Uh, you can see that current was is here. Now do the do the move command, move current to the to the following directory, right? And this folder was uh, like take, took me a while to figure out where it is. So you you go to the user lib slash x86 64 Linux GNU uh, then magic and sys, right? The thing is that uh, you need a you need to be a sudoer to to be able to move this into that directory. So do the sudo move current and the directory. Right? Put the password. Uh, There we go. So we can go to this directory and check if, if the the folder was moved correctly. So yeah, the current is here, CD current. Yeah, and these are all the technology files for different uh, for different uh, feature sizes. Okay, once we have it, we we need to test if if we are able to open the magic with the specific technology file. And the way to do it. We can go back to the home directory, uh, do magic, and use capital T flag to specify a to specify the technology file, right? And in this case, we will be opening SCN three me sub m dot thirty. Right, and hit enter, and let's check by opening the tech manager options tech manager. And yeah, we see that the lambda is 0 0.3 now. 